just one street off the Interamericana. I was driving on a road that could easily be mistaken for a dry riverbed. The spaces between its mud holes are paved with small boulders, so a driver can't take his eyes off the path for very long. Well, even though I was only going five kilometers per hour, it's still a good idea to look up when you come to an intersecting road. When I did, a magnificent tree caught my eye. I'd never seen its kind before. It was an arching, verdant palm covered with clusters of brilliant white flowers. Well, the second glance that it begged for helped me better understand what I was seeing. It was not one tree, but two. The frangipani tree puts on clusters of snow-white blossoms just prior to developing its leaves. Well, one of those trees had grown up through a standard coconut palm. And the combination created the illusion of a new and beautiful species of tree. It was as if each tree were lending what the other one lacked, one tree supplying the foliage, the other the flowers. It reminded me of 1 Peter 4.10 and how the body of Christ is supposed to function. It says, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. The word serve in this passage is translated elsewhere in the New Testament, ministry. You could read it, so each of you should use whatever gift you have to minister to others. So what's your ministry? Well, 1 Peter 4 also talks about God's grace coming in various forms. And the Greek word there, translated, literally means variegated or multicolored, many colored. God's grace is expressed with variety and beauty as we pour into others what God has poured into us. One lens leaves another flowers as the church paints a living picture of God's glorious undeserved favor towards the world. So what are you contributing towards that picture of grace?